Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So on this channel, we try to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the SQL 50 crack SQL interviews in 50 question series, which I started where we are trying to learn as much about SQL using 50 carefully curated questions covering diverse aspects of SQL. Yesterday, we solved this question, right? Recyclable and low fat products. And we learned about filtering. And today we are going to solve the second question of this part, find customer referee and learn some more stuff about SQL. Okay. So let's jump right in. Okay. So this is the second question. It is about finding customer referee. And let's look at the companies the question has been asked for. So Amazon, Google, Apple, Adobe, etc. Right. So quite an important question. So the question reads, we are given a table called customer with three different columns, ID, name and referee ID. And these are their data types. In SQL, ID is the primary key column for this table. Each row of this table indicates the ID of a customer, their name and the ID of a customer who referred them. Okay. We are asked to find the names of the customer that are not referred by the customer with ID equal to two. The order of the result does not matter. So let's go through this example, right? So here we have certain like, you know, six different customers with their names and referee IDs. And we need to return all the customers who are not referred by customer ID to, right? So this Alex and Mark, they have been referred by customer ID to. So everyone else except Alex and Mark. So Will, Jane, Bill and Jack, this, that should be in the output. And that is what we have. Okay. Now let's learn about something. So you might be thinking that, oh, this question is too simple. What we can do is we can just do, okay, from this table called customers, let's use the where clause to filter, which we learned in the previous video that wherever your uh, referee ID is not equal to two, you just return that. And you might think that, okay, it is going to return you all the names where referee ID is not equal to two, but let's try to do that, whether it returns what we are requiring in the output. So from this customer table we are going to use the where clause to filter and keep only those rows where referee id referee id is not equal to two right because that is what we need in our output and we need to return the names right so return the name column okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we have here right now Okay, so this says wrong answer. Why? Let's see the output. So in output, we only are having Jack, right? So we are only having Jack. What happened to Will, Jane and Bill? So actually what is happening is that we are trying to compare the referee ID. So the value in referee ID columns with a number, right? And SQL is not able to compare null values with this one right and that is why it is skipping these null parts and only comparing that okay one is not equal to two so that is why it is keeping only this row so obviously this is not the way to do so this is a good learning that we need to keep in mind that when there are nulls in a column whenever you are trying to compare make sure that you are also you know including the null part by various methods that we are going to learn here we only have six rows so it is visible to us that our output is not same as expected output. But just imagine there would have been 6 million rows. It is practically impossible to, you know, just go through it manually. So make sure that you learn that. Okay. So what's the correct way? So there are multiple ways to do it. First thing that we can do is we can say, okay, you check this and we can provide another condition and we can also that it okay wherever your referee id is null you keep that as well and if it is not null then you check whether it is equal to two or not so we can add one more conditions is that okay referee id is not equal to two or right or your referee id right referee id is null right so it is going to check for these kind of cases whether referee ID is true or not. And in all these cases where referee ID is null, it is going to keep those as well. So let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we have here. So now this is accepted, right? And this output is same as expected output. Okay. Now this is very explicit way of doing it. There are other ways to do this. What if before comparing, we can, you know, substitute these null values to something else and then try to compare it with two. 
right so this is the first solution let's do the second part right so what we are doing is where now before comparing we need to make sure that we are going to substitute it so one of the functions in sql to do that is if null and this is specifically for null values right so if null so if the value in the referee id column is null then we can substitute it with anything 0 minus 1 1000 whatever you like let's do minus 1 so and then once you substitute those null values before comparing then you compare it whether it is equal to 2 or not right so now what this is doing is it's saying okay if this is null so yes for this will it is null so it is substituting it is as minus 1 and then saying only keep those rows where minus 1 is not equal to 2 which is true which is going to keep this will row right similarly for jane bell right so let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we have here okay so again this is also accepted the output is same as expected output there is another method where what you do is you can use a coalesce function instead of if null and there is a difference between these two so if null it only takes two parameters so it takes one of the column that you want to check for the null and if it is null then you can replace it with something but what if you know there was a fourth column right what if there was a fourth column which also had some null values and some integer values and now you need to check okay more than one column whether it is null or not and then you try to compare so in that case is right coalesce is a function that should be used right so coalesce right so now again it might look like in this case that okay this these are the same stuff but let's say if there was another column like whatever referee number or something right i'm just making this up so what this will do is it will say okay referee id is null then it will see okay whether referee number is null or not if it is null then it will return minus one if it is not null so it will return whatever value for that particular row is in referee number right so that is what is the use of coalesce multiple columns you can check for null simultaneously right so okay so now again doing the same thing so it is coalescing basically referee id so wherever your nulls are present so it is basically coalescing it with minus one and then trying to compare with two let me go ahead and run this again so now this is accepted our output is same as expected output okay so these are the various methods let me know if there is a fourth method or a fifth method to do this let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah this is accepted and this is how we do it so easy question but a great learning curve for us is that you know there are various main there are various methods to do it you can either explicitly write it or you can use various functions you can use if null you can use coalesce another important thing to know about if null is only mysql has that there might be another versions of if null in other forms of sql ms sql postgres sql etc but coalesce is usually a standard function make sure that you find out the function that is in each of the versions of the sql to do whatever you are trying to do okay so this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video